Good Morning Northwest. In just hours, the house that has stood as a constant reminder of tragedy on the University of Idaho campus will come down. We're live in Moscow this morning ahead of the long-awaited demolition of the King Road home. Sun and clouds for the remainder of this week. We do have a chance of rain or snow. We're going to talk about the timing on that coming your way. And a new task force in Mex Mexico is hoping to address the recent surge of migrants at the southern border. What steps they're hoping to take to ease the crisis. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. It is Thursday, December 28th. Robin is off this week. Let's start off with some breaking news this morning out of Moscow, Idaho. Today marks the end of a painful chapter for the Moscow community. The home on King Road where Madison Mogan, Xana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, and Kaylee Gonzalez were murdered will be demolished. For more than a year now, this home has served as a painful reminder of this tragedy. Our Bronte Swarovski is live down in Moscow this morning for us at the demolition site. Bronte, since the last time we talked with we talked with you, it sounds like construction crews have arrived. Yeah, Natalie, you might notice that we're in a different location than we were earlier this morning as we were earlier just right in front of the house. But since we last talked, uh, those crews have started coming in. Those trucks have started coming in and that road is now being closed and we were asked to move. Now I can see people in bright, bright colors going in. I've seen people nearby the house. Um, as we mentioned earlier, this demolition is supposed to start around 7 a.m. And now this the reason for this demolition is because this house serves as such a painful reminder for the students here, the families of the victims, and this entire community. And like we said, around 7 a.m. is when that demolition is set to start. Now, the owner of this home gifted it to the university earlier this year. The University of Idaho's president says it was always their intention to demolish it. The demolition is happening now while these students are on winter break as a way to lessen the impact on students here at the university. Now in the last few weeks, both prosecutors and the defense have been inside the home for their last chance to take photos and measurements. The FBI went inside in October, taking data and creating visual aids to be used at trial. Now despite this, families have been vocal about their opposition to the demolition. A statement from the Consolvis family says, we all along have just wanted the King Road home to not be demolished until after the trial and for us to have a trial date so that we can look forward to justice being served. Now, like we have said, this demolition is set to start at 7 a.m. And we're going to be live here throughout these newscasts and throughout the morning. You can watch more of this later on our streaming app, KXLY+. Plus. But for now, reporting live in Moscow, Bronte Sirotsky for News Now. Pronte, thanks so much. And as she just mentioned, this will be an all-day story that we'll be covering. You can watch live updates on our KXLY Plus app for any of the latest information. Now, this isn't the first time where a house where tragic murders took place is being demolished in Idaho. Back in 2008, the Idaho Transportation Department tore down the home where three people were murdered in Wolf Lodge Bay. And take a look at this video. It was three years after the murders of Brenda Groney, Mark McKenzie, and Brenda's son Slade by convicted killer Joseph Duncan. Duncan also kidnapped Brenda's two youngest children, Dylan and Shasta, from that home. He then took them to a remote campsite in western Montana where he killed Dylan. Weeks later, he then showed up with Shasta at a Denny's in Coeur d'Alene where he was then arrested. Duncan was sentenced to death in 2008 and died on death row in March of 2021. The property where the home once stood is now a wetland. Well, switching gears, let's check in with Mark Peterson to what we can expect for our weather today, Mark. Well, we're starting off cool, but not as cold. 33 is a normal high this time of year. It is now 33 early in the morning. We've got some variable clouds, uh, more dense fog, and a colder condition into Coeur d'Alene sitting at 30 degrees. So we do have the patchy freezing fog potential and, of course, just taking longer to get places, so allow more time. Also, some icy spots are evident in those non-treated uh, roadways. More sunshine later Later on today, very mild end of 2023, and we'll see the chance of sprinkles or light rain on Sunday. For today, relatively clear conditions. Things look pretty good. And we're going to continue to see maybe a few mountain showers to the south of us. 41 are high today, 46 Kellogg, Ritzville 45, Pullman 46 degrees. Uh, again, our high today, 41 getting there. We're going to have the variable clouds. We're going to have temperatures in the mid to upper 30s throughout much of the day. But again, that high today will be in the low 40s.
And at the Breaking Now desk, new details just breaking this morning. Overnight, leaders in Mexico announced a new strategy aimed at alleviating the current migrant surge at the U.S.-Mexico border. Authorities are unveiling a new task force. U.S. officials are urging Mexico to do more to stem the current crisis. Sources telling ABC News that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas pushed Mexico to step up immigration enforcement within their country Entry, help reopen key ports of entry and encourage migrants to stay in Mexico. Mexico's foreign affairs minister heeding that request, saying that Mexico will regularly meet with countries in Central and Latin America as part of this new task force. Right now, overwhelmed border officials are bracing for the arrival of more migrants. The month of December is on track to have the highest number of apprehensions ever. That's according to border officials. Texas Governor Greg Abbott infuriating Democratic mayors by sending migrants to their own cities. New York City Mayor Eric Adams rebuking him and telling him to stop playing games along with urging the federal government to intervene. Stop the games and use of migrants as potential, as political pawns. We need the state and federal government's help in resettling and supporting the 68,000 migrants still in our care, as well as those who are on their way and those yet to come. And the new task force's next meeting will be in January. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Natalie. Sydney, thanks. A woman who fell with her two children from an upstairs apartment on North Addison on Christmas Day has died. The children, just 10 months and two years old, are still in the hospital. Police were called to the scene for a possible mental health crisis. As of right now, we don't know if the fall was an accident or if she took her children and jumped. The investigation is still ongoing. Said I Spokane Mayor-elect Lisa Brown and Councilwoman Kitty Klitsky were officially sworn in during a ceremony at the Spokane Central Library last night. Children from the Sailor School playing a song of honor for the incoming leaders. Now, both the new mayor and the District 3 Councilwoman detailed their next steps in their acceptance speeches. Mayor Lisa Brown focusing on first responders, education, and the growing homeless crisis. She says we need to be transparent about our future goals. What are our response rates and times for public safety? How do they vary by neighborhood? What do we think they should be? How many people are sleeping outside unsheltered? And how many places do we have for them to be? So being clear about what those metrics are and what we can possibly do together to change them is the major challenge that I feel we face as a city. Now, Klitsky emphasized the importance of the city and the administration working collaboratively and encouraging community engagement. She also listed some of the top priorities for voters. When I was campaigning, voters told me they want better infrastructure, especially transportation, safety, and sidewalks. They want infill and in the urban core, and they want a curb sprawl. They want um, solutions to homelessness and mental illness and addiction that actually help people. Now Brown officially takes over as mayor next week. Your good morning Northwest time right now is 6.08 on this Thursday. Let's check back in with Mark Peterson, see what he's tracking this morning. All right, heading out, you're going to find some patchy fog, dense in places, certainly around Coeur d'Alene. We see that on the cameras, but mm -hmm. south of town as you head west and uh, all the way down into the Tri-Cities where they have a dense fog advisory in effect. So allow for some more time. Your full forecast coming up. Thousands of people are still trying to head back home from their holiday gatherings, but storms continue to make that a challenge. What travelers in the northeast and the south are up against and how it could impact their plans. And you wondered, so we asked, what the Department of Ecology has to say about an estranged sheen that was found in one Millwood River. Next. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Hello, I'm Diamond Dan Clark. And I'm Jeweler Jane. And, and we're, we're from, from Clark's, Clark's Diamond, Diamond Jewelers, Jewelers in beautiful downtown Coeur d'Alene. Our famous snow promotion is back for Christmas. If it snows four inches or more in 24 hours on January 11, 2024, all purchases made between November 21st and December 30th will be refunded in full. And that means all engagement rings, loose diamonds and gemstones, jewelry and gifts could all be free. Shop Clark's Diamond Jewelers this Christmas and let it snow diamonds. This year, treat yourself to a new Toyota.
Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. We've got lots of great choices, and every vehicle sold comes with Toyota Care, so you can get a new reliable vehicle in 2024 from Finley. The After Christmas Clearance is on now, this week at all Walker's Furniture locations, with year-end blowout savings. For every $1,000 you spend, you save $150. Like when you spend $2,000, you save $300. Or take advantage of our no money down, no minimum purchase special financing for up to five years. So you can get some new furniture for the new year and pay for it later. During the after Christmas clearance at Walker's. Three, two, one. The new year is here. And that means it's time to jump into the gym and get those New Year's resolutions going to do more in 2024. Let's go! Lose some inches. Drop a few pounds. Get stronger. Whatever your goals are, Move Fitness has the staff, trainers, and facilities to get the job done. Plus, you can enroll now for just 24 bucks. So what are you waiting for? Hurry down to a Move Fitness near you. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV, your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Winter weather means hazardous driving conditions. If you must travel, follow these guidelines to keep everyone safe. Slow down and keep a safe following distance. Use traction tires. Give snow and emergency vehicles the right of way. Carry an emergency kit. Brought to you by Lakes, Worley, Post Falls, and Eastside Highway Districts. 26 years strong! Welcome back in. The time is now 6.11. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Republican Representative Lauren Boebert announced that she will be switching districts in a run for Colorado's 4th Congressional District in 2024. She's currently representing the 3rd District. Republicans are looking to keep their narrow House majority among the most conservative members of the chamber. Boebert had been expected to face a tough re-election bid in Colorado's 3rd District in the western part of the state. Extreme weather is once again an impact travel for millions of Americans as this holiday week draws to a close. A big storm is bearing down on the Northeast while flight delays impact travelers in the South. And across the pond, 40 mile an hour winds made a tricky landing at London Heathrow Airport. But as you can see here, this American Airlines flight managed to touch down safely. I think there was applause on that plane when that thing landed. All right, here we go. 10 second takeaway. More sunshine today than we saw yesterday. You're still going to need a coat heading out, but you're going to need the sunglasses in addition to that. Not going to be bad. 41 are high. A man is now facing vehicular assault charges following an early morning crash in southwest Spokane that left his passenger seriously hurt. Sheriff's deputies say it happened a little after 1 a.m. yesterday on Government Way. There were some slick and icy road conditions in the area at the time. Now, investigators say one of the drivers, John Swinger, was likely under the influence of drugs or alcohol. He was arrested after his passenger and, a different car, and the driver of a different car were then taken to the hospital. He also faces some charges is unrelated to the crash, including forgery and identity theft. We've heard from several people about some type of sheen on the Spokane River. So we asked the Washington Department of Ecology for answers. It's investigating the sheen found in Millwood on Tuesday, just downriver from the Inland Empire Paper Company. That was about 20 yards wide, very light, and had no odor. The DOE noted no obvious source point, so a sample was taken to test it and help pin down that source. This, they're still waiting for those results. Avista has put an absorbent material into the water to try to soak up some of that material. We'll make sure to update you as soon as we know more information on this story. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 614. Still to come, residents of an Iowa senior center have turned super media superstars. What brought them internet fame? And in just a few hours, the home where four University of Idaho students were murdered more than one year ago will be demolished. Our Bronte Sarotsky is live in Moscow this morning with, some, with why some of those victims' families are fighting to the last minute to try to keep the house standing. It's back. 
four big days, January 25th to the 28th at the Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. New dealers, new boats, new floor layout. Go to SpokaneBoatShow.com. It's your open sleigh. Your Oh Christmas Tree Mobile. It even helps your spirits get brighter. AutoNation knows your car helps make the holidays happen. It would be our joy to help you find your next ride. Now at AutoNation Toyota, you can lease a new 2023 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road for just $4.89 a month. Celebrate at AutoNation Toyota today. What drives you drives us. You know... There's millions of people without the health insurance they need. I get it. You feel like it's too pricey, a headache to deal with, and not worth it. You deserve something better and better. We're on a mission to get everyone high-quality health insurance. We have plans with as low as $0 out-of-pocket premiums, a network of local doctors, and a rewards program for making healthy choices. Nice. That's why we're America's number one marketplace health insurance. So call us or go online now. And better health. On a mission for better. $3 pitcher night, a couple cocktails, an edible, and a nature documentary. What do all these people have in common? A friend like you, who offered a ride, or made sure they got in a ride share, or provided a couch to crash on. Thanks for keeping the roads a little safer tonight, Washington. Together, we get there. Do more together this holiday in the Chevy that's... ...this season. Do more in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Blazer models. Or use your red tag bonus cash to get 1500 total cash allowance on this Blazer. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Boats of all types and sizes, heavy metal and smaller fishing boats, open bow, high performance ski and wakeboard boats, pontoons, and personal watercraft. Learn more at SpokaneBoatShow.com. Spokane Wedding Expo is January 6th. For tickets, visit SpokaneWeddingExpo.com. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Welcome back in. The time is now 617. One very special group of senior citizens is getting plenty of applause, applause, applause. And it's all for the thing that they love. Here's ABC's Danny New. At Independence Village Senior Living in Waukee, Iowa. The residents are international social media superstars. It's amazing to me that at 88 years old, I, I've become famous. We're going to do an OOTD, an outfit of the day, okay? Most of the ideas come from Sarah, the facility's life enrichment director. My shirt is from Kohl's. About a year and a half ago, she realized the potential of asking her residents to star in a couple TikTok videos. Our goal in general, I guess, is to create new experiences and make connections and, and get that belly laugh. So I thought, well, TikTok's perfect. Mama mia, here I go again. Naturally, it was a bit of a scary request at first for Barb here and her friends. After we did it and all these things happened, then we decided it was fun to do. Well, millions of likes and views later, their TikTok page has now expanded to include the other independence villages from across the Midwest. You're like, hey, I'm still the same person, okay? I'm just famous right. now. No big deal. <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like but it really all started with Sarah and a rule that Barb never wants us to forget. She brings the child out in us yeah, to have fun. Just when because Sarah we're old doesn't mean we can't have fun. 
They are at IV Senior Living on TikTok if you want to check out all the dance parties and hoopla. And you may recognize some of that footage from TikTok's recent TV commercial about independence living. Yeah, they're everywhere. In New York for ABC News, I'm Danny New. Mark, you just say the word and I'll teach you any of those dances right there. No, and I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, but thank you. Thank you. Not for stance. I'm just going to put that on the shelf for now. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll deal with it. I don't want to break a hip. All right, good morning, everybody. Here's a check of the forecast. 41 for the high today. It's going to be sunny, going to be maybe a little bit of cloud cover out there. Certainly, we're seeing fog into Coeur d'Alene this morning. We're doing okay here in Spokane. 29 for the overnight low tonight, but we could see some patchy morning fog tomorrow because the sun, we're going to get, you know, more moisture into the atmosphere and then it's going to get cold. Thus the recipe for fog. Um, radar and satellite. Uh, Got to tell you, when it comes to the radar, we're not picking up much. Most of the energy we're going to be seeing is over the Cascades, higher elevations, just pulling that moisture out. And then we're going to see increased cloud cover later on. So, we look at the forecast and we see beautiful day today. Again, sun and clouds and it's going to be nice. We see the energy into the Cascades and then coming out on that leeward side, on the east side. For tonight and into tomorrow, we start to see a little more energy coming our way. But that's really going to be for the Palouse. That's a from the south to north uh, condition when it comes to the Pacific and that moisture. So we're just getting that kick out. 41 for the high today, Coeur d'Alene 44. We're going to be into the mid-40s for Ritzville, 50 into Lewiston. And again, a little cooler, low cloud deck into the Tri-Cities. They'll be at 41. Now, we're going to see 40 on Friday. Saturday, it's going to be 39, partly cloudy. All of this above average. And then upper 30s Sunday and Monday. We have about a 20 to 30% chance of some scattered showers Sunday and Monday. And then we cool down for the middle of next week. New year, new temps. Exactly. Going into the lower temperatures. All right, thanks, Mark. Well, your time right now is 621. Now, if the NFL season ended today, sports. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. It's Furniture Row's four-day New Year's Super Sale. That's four days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend, plus six years no interest financing. But hurry, the four-day New Year's Super Sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Say bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is a bluebird. Here to stay is a new bird. He sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. My name is Bob Rambo, and this is my Summit Cancer Center story. I had lymphoma. I was kind of scared to death, and the doctors recommended I go to Summit Cancer Center. Everybody on the staff there is super neat, nice, and it's kind of like a, a homecoming. I had lymphoma, and they cured that. I am very thankful for this cancer center. Did you know that you can get up to $300 of free furniture with select Serta and Beautyrest mattress sets at all 13 Walker's Furniture and Mattress stores? It's time to start the new year off right in a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. The new 2024 models are available, which means you can get the best selection now with over 100 great choices and pick the color and package options you like best and take delivery today. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got over three blocks full of great choices. So if you need a safe, reliable winter ride, you can find it at Finley. Four News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Today, one chapter closes in the story of the horrific Moscow, Idaho murders. 4 News Now will be there as the King Road house is torn down. What it means for the community and neighbors. Watch all day coverage today on 4 News Now and streaming on KXY+. Plus. Here's the 365 nights of better sleep during the four-day New Year's Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Save 100 bucks on every 1000 you spend. Or check out the Summit, now only $299.99. Plus, six years no interest and free shipping. Happy New Year from Denver Mattress. 
We talked earlier this week about just how important the Seattle Seahawks week 17 matchup with the Steelers is a win and they nearly have a playoff spot locked up but a loss and we're in for a very interesting final week of the regular season over the past. I mean we got the playmakers all around to where you know you can plug any quarterback in and, and you know we can make an offense work but if we can generate another good ball game and uh, uh, keep this thing moving along. We're making some progress. We're doing some things better, some things we, st we continue to work on uh, that we'll try to get ironed out this week. Seahawks and the Steelers will kick off just after one in the afternoon on Sunday. This will also be the final game at Lewin Field this season. Hard to believe we've made it to the end. Reporting in studio, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Your good morning Northwest time right now is 625 on this Thursday. It's a morning of mixed emotions in North Idaho. Bronte Sorovsky is live where demolition at the site of the Moscow murders is set to begin in a half an hour. Well, that, as you said, pretty soon this house will start to be demolished. Here why the university says this will be a healing step as well as why some people are opposed. And a, minute, and a minimum wage in Washington will soon be the highest in the nation. Why not everyone thinks the annual increase has been a positive thing for the state. Next. And before we go, here's a first look at what's coming up at Good Morning America at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, life at sea, just weeks after a three-year cruise announced it would not set sail as planned. Another company says it's planning a massive journey on the high seas, this time for three and a half years. I think we're sort of in the beginning stages of will this really be a concept that people are buying into? And if it is, we'll absolutely see more people jumping on board and doing exactly the same thing. Hello from Chichen Itza. And one ship ready to see the world has already set sail. Okay, this is it. We are doing this nine months all around the world. Amazing experiences, going to meet amazing people. It's just so nice because you know at a baseline that everybody here has a passion and an adventure. Coming up at 7 a.m., we're diving deeper into longer cruises, including the nine-month journey TikTok can't get enough of. I'm Rhiannon Alley, ABC News, New York. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real and I'm so excited. We even have a video and all he uses is a small amount on a clean dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. This new year is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Sign up for the 4 News Now playbook at KXLY.com. AutoNation knows your car helps make the holidays happen. It would be our joy to help you find your next ride. Lease a new 2024 Honda Accord EX for a low $295 a month. Celebrate at AutoNation Honda today. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I got a call swap. Got your check. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509 999 9999. I'm Mark Peterson, the Extreme Team and Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on our next job. If you know of a project that needs an Extreme Team makeover, go to kxoy.com to nominate it. Our thanks to Horizon Credit Union for sponsoring the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Guarantees to keep your home safe and warm. Your comfort is Andy's priority. Get ready for the cold with a high-efficiency furnace from Carrier and turn to the experts. Andy's offers a wide range of top-quality heating systems that are both reliable and environmentally friendly. Andy's team of experts are highly trained and experienced, so you can trust Andy's to diagnose and fix any issue efficiently. Andy's Heating, Cooling, Electrical. Electrical, your trusted carrier experts since 1972. 
AutoNation knows your car helps make the holidays happen. It would be our joy to help you find your next ride. Drive new Hondas with 3.9% financing and no payments for 90 days. Celebrate at AutoNation Honda today. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We're kicking off this half hour of 4 News Now with a story tracker following the stories people are reading about this morning. For most people, passive income is a bit of an extra pocket change that requires minimal effort to earn a supplement to the main source of your income. For Steve Ballmer, it's $1 billion. Ballmer is the sixth richest person in the world, and it's due to collect that much in dividends from Microsoft in 2024. Ballmer is the former CEO of Microsoft and still owns a 4% stake in the company. An estimated $760 million jackpot will be up for grabs in the next Powerball drawing. No winning ticket was drawn last night. The lottery's next drawing is coming up on Saturday. It's the fourth Powerball jackpot to exceed half a billion dollars just this year. But our top story this morning, we're following breaking news at the University of Idaho for the murders case. Today, the home where the four University of Idaho students, Madison Mogan, Xander Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, and Kaylee Gonzalez were murdered, will be demolished. For more than a year now, this home has served as a painful reminder of this tragedy. Our Bronte Sorotsky has been live down right outside of the house all morning for us. Bronte, it's, we've got some lights flickering behind you. What are you seeing right now? Well, Natalie, it sounds like demolition is actually starting. So I'm actually just going to step out of the frame so you guys can see what is going on here. You can hear that. It sounds like a bulldozer is, you can hear that crunching starting to go in through the house. This just started moments ago, but all morning, I mean, this road has been blocked off. We were told to leave in front of the house in order to give crews the room that they need to start prep for this demolition. Now, look at that. It, that house is definitely, I see pieces of wood falling down. The demolition is definitely underway. Now, this demolition is happening just because this home is a reminder of the horrible murders that happened inside. It was given to the university by the home's owner, and the president of the university said that it was always their intention to demolish it after these murders. Now, this demolition is happening right now while students are on winter break. This is a way to lessen the impact on these students while they're here studying. Now, in the last few weeks, both prosecutors and the defense have been inside of the home the last chance to take photos and measurements before it was destroyed the fbi went inside in october taking data and creating visual aids to be used at trial and despite this the Gonzalez family has been vocal about their opposition to the demolition we have a statement from the family that says we all along have just wanted the king road home to not be demolished until right after the trial and for us to have a trial date so we can look forward to justice being served now as we are showing you this demolition is under way. We're going to keep you updated all morning here in our newscast as well as on our streaming app KXLY Plus. I'm going to stay off camera so you can keep watching the demolition but reporting live in Moscow, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. Bronte, thanks. And once again, we will be streaming the demolition of the home live for free on KXLY Plus on your connected TVs as well as on our website kxly.com. Well, Mark Peterson is here with a first look at our forecast here. Starting out with a little chilly temperatures outside, but not too bad. Yep, some radiational cooling bringing us down to 33 degrees. We were into the mid-30s a couple hours ago, but 30 into Coeur d'Alene and again, some fog that has been there throughout the morning. That's going to be a trend for the morning hours. Also, we have some icy spots out there as you're driving around on those untreated roadways in the outlying areas. We'll see more sunshine today than we did yesterday. It's going to be a very mild wrap up of 2023, but we do have a chance, about a 20% chance of sprinkles coming in on Sunday, so we're going to keep track of that for you. We look for today to be variable clouds. We're going to see, for the most part, more sunshine. As we look over the next 12 hours, we'll have some clouds on the move, but yeah, it's going to be a little brighter than it was yesterday. Our high today, 41, 44 into Coeur d'Alene, 46 into Pullman. Getting there, here's how it sets up. We're going to have temperatures that are going to warm up at 9 o'clock to about 35 degrees. We're going to be in the upper 30s and low 40s throughout the afternoon with that high today of 41. And from the Breaking Now desk, this morning there are new concerns about conflict abroad, creating tensions here at home. As Israel's war with Hamas continues, officials say there could be disruptions to an iconic New Year's Eve event here in the U.S. 
It's one of the world's biggest New Year's Eve celebrations, watching the ball drop in New York's Times Square. Every year, the city adds more patrols during this time, but this year, there's now safety concerns amid Israel's war with Hamas and recent protests across New York. Roughly 60,000 people turn out for the event. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says those big crowds come with risks. He says since the October 7th attacks, there have been nearly 500 protests throughout the city, the most recent on Christmas Day. These are very volatile situations. Earlier today, Israel launched more airstrikes at the Gaza Strip, killing at least 50 people. That's according to the Hamas-run Ministry of Health. The Israel Defense Forces is now warning people to evacuate parts of central Gaza as its attacks against Hamas continue. And back to New York City, NYPD will be using drones to monitor New Year's Eve crowds, vehicle scanning devices, and radiation detectors to make sure the New Year, the New Year rather, rings in safely. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Natalie. Sydney, thanks. Washingtonians will see the highest minimum wage in the country soon. The state will increase it to $16.28 an hour. That's 54 cents more than last year and more than double the federal minimum wage. People have mixed feelings, though, about this annual increase. Jasmine Martinez has been working in the service industry now for years. She's also a single mom to a 10-month-old baby. She says a, she welcomes a higher minimum wage because she relies on her checks. I rely a lot on my check because tips are never always consistent. So it's really nice to have, um, if my hours are guaranteed, to know what I'm going to make at the end of my pay period. Meanwhile, the owner of Auntie's Bookstore says inflation has been a major headache this year, but he thinks an increase in the minimum wage every year is necessary for both customers and employees. This change to Washington's minimum wage will start on New Year's Day. Well, some places in Washington have their own minimum wage laws that are even higher than required by the state. For example, on Monday, anyone in Seattle that is working for a company that employs more than 500 people will be paid at least $19.97 an hour. Minimum wage has been on the rise in Washington since 2016 when it was just at 9.47 an hour with the biggest increase happening in 2017. When voters approved a measure requiring a state minimum wage of $11 an hour, that would increase every year by a set amount until 2020. And now the state's Labor and Industries Department factors in the cost of living to determine how much a minimum wage should be increasing every year. And Washington is not alone in trying to help low-income families make their ends meet. 21 other states are raising minimum wage for next year, with fast food workers in California getting a $4 raise in April. 20 states, including Idaho, are still at the federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. That number has not changed since 2009. Well, your good morning Northwest time right now is 637. Let's check back in with Mark, see how things are shaping up for today. It's freezing out there <laughs> in some places, literally 32 into the valley, 34 downtown. <clears throat> Deer Park at 27 degrees this morning. We've got fog into Coeur d'Alene and they're hanging out at 32 degrees. So a little extra time where you see that fog. We're going to have a full check of the forecast coming up. And why a drug people need to breathe is going to be harder to get in the new year when Good Morning Northwest continues. And here's a live look at the demolition that is currently underway at the King Roadhouse where four University of Idaho students were murdered one year ago. We'll be right back after the break. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. The all-new Better Head feature is now live at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Casino. Make your picks online from anywhere before you place your cash bets. Only at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. This year, treat yourself to a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. We've got lots of great choices, and every vehicle sold comes with Toyota Care. So you can get a new reliable vehicle in 2024 from Finley. It's the Planet Fitness You Can Still Join a Gym in 2023 sale. Join the Judgment Free Zone and get equipment for every workout for just $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and pay nothing until January 17th. Hurry! Deal ends Friday, December 29th. The after Christmas savings are on now at all Walker's Furniture and Mattress stores. Get some of the biggest markdowns of the year or take advantage of special five-year financing with no money down. During the after Christmas clearance at Walker's. Fred's Year in Clearance Sale is on now. Save on dishwashers, laundry sets, refrigerators, and more during this sale. 
Like this Bosch dishwasher marked down to only $4.49 while supplies last. That's a great value. This stainless Bosch dishwasher is one of Bosch's best sellers. $4.49 for a Bosch dishwasher is a terrific buy. But hurry, these dishwashers won't last long. Come in and save at Fred's year-in clearance sale. Lost Wallet found after 65 years. They found it inside an old movie theater. The time capsule from another era. What was inside Mom's Wallet? Next, Inside Edition. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of them in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. The all-new Better Head feature is now live at Caesar Sportsbook, located inside Spokane Tribe Casino. Make your picks online from anywhere before you place your cash bets. Only at Spokane Tribe Casino. You just win here. Welcome back in. The time is now 641. Idaho could have another seat in the U.S. House of Representatives by 2030. According to the Census Bureau, Idaho's population has shot up by 25,000 people. Right now, Idaho has two representatives, and if the growth stays on track, it would be awarded a third seat following the 2030 census. That seat could come from states like California, which would lose four seats, and New York, which could lose three seats as people move to other parts of the country. Now, if that happens, it would be the first time Idaho Idaho would gain a seat in more than 100 years. In news for your health this morning, staff at all Kaiser Permanente Health facilities are once again required to mask up in Washington. This only applies to employees who interact with patients. Kaiser is the second health care company that is to bring back the mask mandate. Earlier this month, Multicare announced that everyone would be required to wear masks at all of its hospitals and some of its high-risk clinics in Washington. The mandate is in response to a rise in flu and RSV cases. All right, good morning. 10 second takeaway on your screen. More sunshine today than yesterday. That's going to be a nice thing. You're going to need a coat heading out, but also you're going to need those sunglasses. Yeah, it's still chilly out and 41 will be our high. Starting January 1st, Flovent, a drug thousands of patients depend on to help them breathe, is disappearing from pharmacy shelves. Doctors are concerned that patients might not be able to switch to an alternative to the inhalers quickly and that the drugs may not be covered by insurance. Physicians say this new drug will work just as well, but are urging patients to take action now to ensure that they have their medicine in the new year. Your Good Morning Northwest time right now is 642 on this Thursday. We'll have Mark's full forecast coming up right after the break. Here's a live look at the demolition that is currently underway at the King Roadhouse, where four University of Idaho students were murdered more than one year ago. We'll have a live report with our Bronte Sorotsky right after the break. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. AutoNation knows your car helps make the holidays happen. It would be our joy to help you find your next ride. Drive a new Chevy with 1.9% financing plus no payments for 90 days. Celebrate at AutoNation Chevrolet today. Go, teams, go. The guy's a quick shot and a score! Left, left circle, shoot! Saturday, December 30th, your Spokane Chiefs host the Tri-City Americans in the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. It's a Sturm Heating Family Feast Night. Enjoy discounted concession items at select concourse locations, including $2 hot dogs, Coca-Cola products, and more. Saturday, December 30th, a family feast courtesy of Sturm Heating. Puck drops at 6.05. For tickets, go to SpokaneChiefs.com. It's time to start the new year off right in a new Toyota from Finley Downtown Toyota. The new 2024 models are available, which means you can get the best selection now with over 100 great choices and pick the color and package options you like best and take delivery today. And if you're looking for a certified pre-owned vehicle, we've got over three blocks full of great choices. So if you need a safe, reliable winter ride, you can find it at Finley. Hi, I'm Stan. Welcome to my Stan Talk. My theory, it's called Triple Play because you can have fun on land, sea, and air. On land, bowling, XD Dark Ride, and others. At sea, all the slides and pools in Raptor Reef Indoor Water Park. In air, the ropes course, Navy Drop Tower, and new zip ride. 
Or maybe the owner just liked triple cheeseburgers. Thanks, everyone. Triple Play has fun for everyone, including the brand new zip line ride. And it's all attached to a cozy hotel. Mildly entertaining. I will take that. Fred Meyer gives you so many ways to save. On top of our lower than low prices. Enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. Earn fuel points to save up to $1 per gallon. And with a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Plus, our weekly sales will keep your budget merry and bright. So get rewarded and save. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. AutoNation knows your car helps make the holidays happen. It would be our joy to help you find your next ride. Drive a new Chevy with 1.9% financing, plus no payments for 90 days. Celebrate at AutoNation Chevrolet today. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Spokane Boat Show. Breaking news in the University of Idaho murders. Demolition is now underway at the house where the four University of Idaho students were murdered. Let's get right out to our Bronte Sarotsky for a look at what's happening there right now, Bronte. Natalie, this demolition started much earlier than we anticipated. You can see behind me there is an excavator and a lot of the house is already started to come down. So I'm just going to step out of the way so that you can see what is going on behind us. Now take a look at that. It looks like half of the home is just in in pieces right now. They worked really fast to get that down. Now it just that is really loud. If you can hear that, that is all the construction being done. But we don't know exactly when this is supposed to wrap up today. We just know that it started earlier than expected. Now we are going to be streaming this demolition online on our app, KXLY Plus. And we are going to be here all throughout our newscast to bring you the latest updates on this demolition. But for now, reporting live in Moscow, Bronte Sarotsky for News Now. Bronte, thanks. And as she mentioned, we will be streaming this on our on our KXLY Plus app. That's free on your connected TV. You can also go to our website, kxly.com. Tossing things over to Mark for a first look at our forecast here. Mark, some chilly temperatures to start out the morning, but like I said earlier, not, not too bad. Chilly and not as cold as it should be mm -hmm. as we look at those averages. 33 is an average uh, daytime high. We're sitting at that currently at Spokane International where we keep all the records. It's 30 into Post Falls, Deer Park 27. We do have some fog out there. We also have, again, some moderate air quality over into Idaho and wrapping around. But a dense fog advisory, if you're heading to the Tri-Cities, that's still 10 o'clock. And it looks like you could very well see fog there. Like I say, we have fog in Coeur d'Alene right now. 41 will be our high today. Sunshine and clouds. And we're going to have more sunshine than yesterday. Tonight, cloudy, some patchy morning fog potential tomorrow because of the sun being out. And 29 for the overnight low. Now, we take a look at what we uh, expect on the forecast radar. This continues to come in with increasing clouds later on today. We're going to continue to hold that moisture off into the Cascades. You can see it along the Pacific. It continues to make its way north, but it's kicking out energy, and that's going to start loading into our area. And we're going to see that potentially through Sunday and Monday with some scattered light rain showers. 41 will be our high today in Ritzville. You're at 45. Colville, 38 degrees. Could see a little snow this weekend. And then Pullman, 46 for the high today. The planning forecast. Yeah, we're planning on low 40s for today and tomorrow. It's going to be in the upper 30s Saturday, Sunday, as that's the final weekend of 2023. Uh, as we ring in the new year, the ball drops. We're going to see temperatures of 38 on Monday. We're going to have the expectation of some light mountain snow. That'd be great news for the skiers and for the snowpack. Uh, but then we get cool Wednesday, 36. And in fact, we're going to continue as we look at the temperatures set for the first two weeks of January to be about average. So we're not going to see anything there. Also, we could see wetter weather coming in for that second week of January. And that's good news because our snowpack is about 60% of where it needs to be. Okay. And of course, the ski areas, they're doing the snow dances, trying to get that snow to fall. So hopefully those come to fruition and we get that snow to help with not only our snowpack and skiing, but also for our spring runoff. And again, the water that we need. And there's just so many other reasons. We really need the snow. Yeah, lots we, of factors. We could it. see it in the second week.
week of January. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks, Mark. Well, your good morning Northwest time right now is 6.49. Your morning sprint is coming up next. Thanks so much for waking up with us on Good Morning Northwest on this Thursday morning. We'll be right back. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Clark's Diamond Jewelers. Your whole health is more than what you find at the doctor's office because it's all around you. The food you eat, what makes you happy, and what keeps you up at night. The place you call home. It's why we created a health insurance company that considers so much more. WellPoint. Your whole health is our whole point. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. Ah! I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Ah, that's it. I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap and Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. that we're the only new car in the country under $20,000? It's true, Tay. The Mitsubishi Mirage is only $17,740. Wow, that's amazing. And we're discounting the award-winning Outlander for over $10,000? Right again, Tay. Right now, over $10,000 below MSRP or $4,000 at 0% interest. Hurry in, everyone. A lot of great deals. And remember, we're a lot of fun, too. Like the vision across from Lowe's. Have you heard about the TYM 2515 tractor? It's a full-feature compact tractor that's made for landscapers, hobby farmers, and landowners. And through the end of 2023, gets 0% interest and 84 months with the largest lift capacity in its class. Get the best incentives of the year right now by visiting tymoffers.com. Better yet, visit Cascade Tractor Supply in Spokane. TYM. Today, one chapter closes in the story of the horrific Moscow, Idaho murders. 4 News Now will be there as the King Road house is torn down. What it means for the community and neighbors. Watch all day coverage today on 4 News Now and streaming on KXY+. Plus. It's the Planet Fitness You Can Still Join a Gym in 2023 sale. Join the Judgment Free Zone and get equipment for every workout for just $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and pay nothing until January 17th. Hurry! Deal ends Friday, December 29th. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Spread is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. The time is now 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Thursday in the morning sprint. Mark has your forecast with plenty of sunshine expected. City Charles has details on a new task force in Mexico, hoping to address the recent surge in migrants at the southern border. But first, the home on King Road where four University of Idaho students were murdered is now being demolished. Let's get right out to Bronte Sorotsky with the breaking details. Bronte. Well, Natalie, demolition has started. I'm going to step out of the frame so you can just see what we're seeing here in Moscow. So take a look. It looks like already mo half of the home is now in shambles on the ground. Now, this this construction started not too long ago. Now, this road, King Road, is blocked off. We see Moscow police here ensuring that everything goes smoothly with this demolition. And we are going to be here all morning as well as throughout our evening newscast. And you can watch this demolition live on our streaming app, KXLY+. Plus. But for now, reporting live in Moscow, Bronte Sirotsky, 4 News Now. Bronte, thanks. And as she mentioned, we'll be streaming the entire demolition on our free KXLY Plus app that's on your connected TVs. You can also head on over to our website, kxly.com. As we look at the forecast radar in our first alert weather, it's going to be a pretty nice day today. We're going to have some variable clouds, increasing clouds tonight. And then we're going to see the potential for maybe a little rain uh, into areas of the Palouse. 41 will be our high today, 44 into Coeur d'Alene. We're expecting mid-40s in Ritzville. Tri-City staying cool at 41. We will be cool at 41 degrees, although still above average. And our air quality should remain good. 
A woman who fell with her two children from an upstairs apartment on North Addison on Christmas Day has now died. The children, just 10 months and two years old, are still in the hospital. Police were called to the scene for a possible mental health crisis. We don't know if the fall was an accident or if she took her children and jumped. The investigation is still ongoing. A man is now facing vehicular assault charges following an early morning crash in northwest Spokane that left his passenger seriously hurt. Sheriff's deputies say it happened a little after 1 a.m. yesterday on Government Way. There were some slick and icy road conditions in the area at the time. Investigators say that one of the drivers, John Swinger, was likely under the influence of drugs or alcohol. He was arrested after his passenger and the driver of a different car were taken to the hospital. Well, we've heard from several people about some type of sheen in the Spokane River. So we asked the Department of the Washington Department of Ecology for, answer, for answers. It's investigating a sheen found in Millwood on Tuesday, just downriver from the Inland Empire Paper Company. It was about 20 yards wide, very light, and had no odor. The DOE noted no obvious source point, so a sample was taken to test and help pin down the source. We're still waiting for those results. We'll keep you updated as soon as we learn more. Spokane Mayor-elect Lisa Brown and Councilwoman Kitty Klitsky were officially sworn in during a ceremony at the Spokane Central Library last night. Children from the Sailors School playing a song of honor for the incoming leaders. Now, both the new mayor and District 3 Councilwoman detailed their next steps in their acceptance speeches. Mayor Lisa Brown focusing on first responders, education, and the growing homeless crisis. You can read more details about the swearing-in ceremony on our website, kxly.com. Overnight leaders in Mexico announced a new strategy aimed at alleviating the current migrant surge at the U.S.-Mexico border. Authorities are unveiling a new task force. U.S. officials, <clears throat> excuse me, U.S. officials urging Mexico to do more to stem the crisis. Sources telling ABC News that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas pushed Mexico to step up immigration enforcement within their country, help reopen key ports of entry, and encourage migrants to stay in Mexico. The new task force's next meeting will be in January, and the latest details on the new task force is coming up next on Good Morning America. Washingtonians will see the highest minimum wage in the country soon. The state will increase it to $16.28 an hour. That's 54 cents more than last year and more than double the federal minimum wage. The change to Washington's minimum wage will start on New Year's Day. People have mixed feelings, though, about this annual increase. You can find out what they told us right now on our website, kxly.com. Well, some places in Washington have their own minimum wage laws that are even higher than required for the state. For example, on Monday, anyone in Seattle who's working for a company that employs more than 500 people will be paid at least $19.97 an hour. Coming up next on Good Morning America, we have details on the end of the year storm that's slamming the Northeast overnight, bringing heavy rains and flash flood fears on one of the busiest driving days of the year. On estimated seven, we've been following breaking news out of Moscow. We'll be right back. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups, like an accidental savings account. But how much can you really save? Yeah, I mean... Whoa. <laughs> Visit AutoNation Acura Spokane Valley for attractive offers on a new vehicle. It's the Planet Fitness You Can Still Join a Gym in 2023 sale. Join the Judgment Free Zone and get equipment for every workout for just $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and pay nothing until January 17th. Hurry! Deal ends Friday, December 29th. We've been following breaking news from Moscow all morning where demolition is now underway at the King Road home where four University of Idaho students were murdered last year. That demolition starting about a half an hour ago and as you can see still ongoing. We are streaming the demolition of the home live for free on KXLY Plus on your connected TV as well as on our website KXLY.com.
In our forecast today, we're going to have more sunshine than we had yesterday. Our high today is going to be 41, so a touch warmer than yesterday. And we're going to be at 40 for Friday as we wrap up uh, again the final week of 2023 with upper 30 Saturday and Sunday. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning to KXLY. We'll see you right throughout Good Morning America that starts right now.